Good morning, everybody. I thought he wasn't going to tell us to go there. I know. Yeah. I stood there waiting for the cameraman to go, right, <laughs> off you go. And he's just like stood there, frozen, frozen. Hello, everybody, and happy Monday. We're back. Monday again. Monday again. I know they come around so quickly, don't they? Mm. So, so quickly. Welcome to our Facebook Live. We go live every single day around about 11 o'clock, give or take five to 10 minutes, sometimes 11 or 12 minutes, depending what's going on. But we're here and ready, I think aren't our we? most has been like 20 minutes. Now. Yeah, but there was a reason behind that. So we are going to be talking about infant carriers today. Lots of you have asked for us to look a little bit more closely at infant carriers because lots of people just think an infant carrier is an infant carrier, don't they? Yeah, and there's lots of different features on some that you don't get on others so there's a bit more to your decision and some are better for some people than other people so if you've got an infant carrier at home let us know what you have got if you've got any questions about the infant carrier you've got at home and you want to ask us you know we have some of them out today not all of them no. we just have some of them out today if you are looking for an infant carrier let us know any questions that you've got all your questions today are entered into our draw to win we're going to have two winners today aren't we Two winners, two little bundles of yep. essentials for your car seat. Now, if you join us regularly on our Facebook Live, you will know that we often have a car seat mirror fitted on. We haven't today. I just need <laughs> to say that. Said that. Yeah. Um, a car seat mirror and a back seat car protector. And we're going to have two winners. So it could be you. All you've got to do is join in with the chat. If you have said good morning, thank you very much. I'll get back to you in a moment. If you've shared, thank you very much. We love it when you share. So our first person today, oh, Daniel Gibbons had his Weetabix this morning. Fast as fingers first. <clears throat> Good morning, Lucy Ann. Good morning, Emily Rachel and Hannah Eaton and Hannah Khalil and Olivia Blackburn and Gillian Moon and Helen Downham and Horia Kazim and Jane Brocklesby and Vicky Spillane, who's already already got a comment there. She said, we've just bought the Cybex Cloud Z. Yeah, she ordered over the weekend, didn't she? Oh, OK. You're on Keep the an ball. eye on the orders. Um, she's got the red colour, the autumn gold. She loves that colour. Mm. Oh, we've, got, we've got one here, look. Maybe she spotted it. So, Vicky, we will be running through this seat for you just to hopefully make sure you're nice and confident for when little one arrives. Um, good morning to Gemma, Stanley and Trisha Latham Trainer, Laura Ford and Kaz Hill and... Oh, Lucian's, oh, Lucian's giving us a thumbs up. And Laura Marsh... Um, Thank you very, very much. Laura Ford's got her son off school today because they've got snow in Northamptonshire. <coughs> Woohoo! We've got not a lot of snow. I have. You I have. have? Yeah, we've got a lot in my garden. It was coming down quite heavy yesterday and it stayed um, overnight. No, you see, we had a few flakes and three children were really excited because it was finally, finally, finally beginning to snow. And they rushed outside and, well... We stopped. Well, it didn't stop, but it didn't really settle. So no. it really is like an icing sugar of snow where we are. It, it was cold, though. Yeah. Really, cold this really cold. But even my 14-year-old was like, yeah, it's snowing, it's snowing, it's snowing. I think as adults, you're still excited, aren't you? Mm. Let us know, have you got snow where you are? Send us some photographs of you out in the snow. Cheer us up. You know, we really love it to be cheered up. Vicky Spillane, no snow here. No, not much here. I was going to go out and do a video of the Cybex Priam with the skis if we had some snow, but we haven't got enough snow yet. So hopefully it may snow and we'll be able to do that. So two prizes today. Let's <coughs> run through our prizes for you. So there is a backseat car mirror, absolutely essential, we would say. You're going to use it for your infant carrier after a little one has outgrown their infant carrier or if you go for a multi-stage seat, it is incredibly useful. We would recommend that if you've got your child rear facing, that you have a I'd car say it's seat an mirror. essential, really, isn't it? It is an essential. Yeah, it's it's just peace of mind when baby's tiny to um, be able to see them. And then the other prize, because we've got two bundles. Kelly, you can you can you can tell us about the other prize. This is a back seat protector, and it does what it says. <laughs> it does what it says. It on protects the your seat. Absolutely. There's no snow in Plymouth. Maybe that's because you're by the coast, because we're relatively um, by the coast. Gemma Stanley, no snow here in Kent. See, I thought everybody had snow. I no, thought it was just us. No. Um, Gemma Linley, thought I'd watch during that time, but her little one has other ideas. Let yeah. them watch with you. Yeah. Let them watch with you. You're absolutely fine. We don't mind. So has anybody got a snow day? Kids got a snow day? Although we were discussing this with my kids yesterday. If you have a snow day, it's the same as every other day because it's remote learning. Well, yeah, I was going to say, my kids would still be at home. 
Yeah, maybe snow days they should have to go in. It's the opposite. <laughs> we have to fight. <laughs> it was incredibly icy and I've got one child at school and there, it was incredibly icy on the journey today. There was a yeah. car in the ditch and... Yeah, I passed two on the way. Yeah, just... We might not have snow, but we've certainly got ice, yeah, haven't we? It's cold. Uh, yeah, so actually it is good. It protects your car, um, muddy feet, especially when they get to toddlerhood. It protects your seat a little bit when they're still refacing. So a great, great. So we've got two prizes. Laura Ford said, never thought of getting a mirror. My partner is not sure oh, really? um, about them. We would certainly say pretty I, much I've always, I've always had them. Yep, so have um, I. Yeah. So I don't think... Rely they, on them a little bit. I mean, it's nothing's going to happen if you don't have one, so it's not necessarily an essential, but for me, I just always want to keep an eye on them. And they can, when they get a bit older, they learn to look in the mirror and they can see your mirror as well, can't yeah, they? So, so you can kind yeah, of... Yeah, no, we, we quite like them. And they're not incredibly expensive, are they? Mm. So you can pick them up for... 11... 11 99, I want yeah. to say, something like that. So they're not really expensive. No. So... Choosing your infant carrier, there's a few things to consider, isn't there, Kelly? Mm -hmm. So we generally advise um, to go for an eyesight tested seat if you can. There are still our 44 seats as well available, um, but your eyesight seats have been higher tested. So if budget allows, always go for an eyesight size one. Um, it's just been tested to a higher speed, um, side impact and rollover inclusions as well as being tested, which you don't get on your other seats. And your eyesight seats have come down so much in price now, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, so you're not paying a big, uh, what's the word? Excess. Yeah. It, they well, used, the they used to be a lot more expensive. There used big to be a bigger gap, between didn't there, yeah. between an eyesight seat and a non-eyesight seat. Yeah. And that gap has very, very much closed. And there are some people who are only offering the eyesight option now, aren't they? Yeah. And sometimes... And putting it more in with bundles and things yeah, rather than which cheaper. Yeah, great, course, great so. to see. Sometimes there might be a car seat included in a bundle, but often you can swap that car seat if there's another one that you want. We just yeah. need to check it fits on the adapters and that it has been tip tested with the chassis of your pushchair. So you're not always, you don't always have to have the same brand of pushchair yeah. as you do car seat. I just, I hate the word travel system and I know you, you kind of laugh at me when people come in to still that like, I want a travel system. I'm like, well, everything in here can basically be a travel system. Yeah, we always say that. Everything yeah. in here, ne nearly everything. I think everything. it's just people just think that they're very limited when they get in a travel system. They have to get the one that comes in with a bundle. It's just yeah. kind of letting people know that you have got choice and you don't have to get it. You can choose it because you want that car seat as opposed to just because it comes in it. And, bear it, and people are the same with colour, aren't they? Yeah. They have to have, or they really want to have, the car seat that matches the fabrics on their carry cot. Yeah. Now, once you've not got your carry cot on the chassis, if you are going to use it, your car seat on the chassis of your pushchair, yeah. you can't see any of the colours. No. So what we would always encourage people to do is to look for the best car seat that their budgets will allow, even if it's not the same colour as your carry cot. Yeah, it's, you're never going to have one together, so it makes no difference. So um, we've had a quick look at eye size, and we've got lots of seats out here for various mm. different reasons. Yeah. It's just a few of the seats that we do. So we do the Cybex brand. You might have heard of the Cloud Z and you've probably seen the Cloud Z on a number of our lives, but they do lots and lots of different car seats. So we do all the Cybex seats. We do all the Maxi Cozy seats. We've got here the new Tinker. We've also got Coral Out as well. Here. We do all the Be Safe seats as well. All the Joy seats. And today we've chosen iSnug to come and have a little bit of a hello. Oh, we've got another Maxi Cozy there hidden behind oh, yes, you. the marble. The new so, one as well. Yep, miss, miss that hiding behind you there. And we've just bought one of the seats that um, is in a, a travel bundle for Baby Jogger. But there are other brands that do their own seat as well. Yeah. So Egg do their shell seat, Baby Style as well um, for the Oyster, they do their own seat as well. So uh, Paperago, for example, they do their own seat. I'm just thinking about as I walk around store, Vinici have their own seat, Casato, Casato have their own seat, Ico Bubba have their own seat. Uh, mountain buggy have their own seat. Oh, I'm, I'm wandering around the store. You can see my eyes going right. I'm just walking around. I'm just walking around. Silver Cross Silver have Cross. their own seat. Upper Baby have their own seat. So we could have brought them all in, but you wouldn't have been able to see us. So we've just yeah. chosen a few. And it's just, you, it's just ones that just uh, set a little bit apart because they might have a feature that might attract you to it. So where do you want to start, Kelly? I don't know. Shall we start with just the ice the middle, it's Yeah, the... let's start with the ice snug. So the ice snug is kind of Joy's entry level ice size seat. Um, it's really light. So that's if you are somebody that has um, back problems or struggles to carry anything heavy, it's a really good option for or you. If you've so, got lots of stairs to go up, yeah, if you live if you, in a flat yeah. or something like that. 
I can't remember the exact weight, and it's not on here now, but is it 3 point... I want to say 3.67. Oh. Ah, <laughs> we're not too far off. Maybe we're it's not... 3.67. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah. It's light, uh, anyway. It is, it's one of the lightest um, infant carriers available, so if that's um, something that you're looking for, the iSnug is a good option. It uses universal adapters, but obviously just check that it's been tip tested on your pushchair. If you're not going to use it on your pushchair, it doesn't matter. Um, you've got your independent hood, which you can use backwards and forwards. Inside is a nice, soft, um, padded newborn insert, which you can then take out when baby gets bigger. And it's uh, tested to use up to 75 centimetres, which should take you past uh, or up to the 12 months yeah. mark. So generally, your infant carrier, you're going to use for... Pre depends on the size of your child, obviously, because yeah. all children are different shapes and sizes, but generally your infant carrier for the first 12 months. Often the little one will get heavy in that infant carrier, so there's always a crossover. Some people might not even use an infant carrier, will no, they? No, you don't have to have an infant carrier, so if you decide to keep a car seat that's fitted in the car all the time, you can go for one that's going to last you a bit longer, so longevity-wise, if that's something you're looking for, skip the infant carrier stage if you're not bothered taking it in and out, and go for a uh, from birth to four seat, for example. So, but your infant carrier in, like, the period that we're in at the moment with COVID, a lot of people, I think, are moving towards perhaps using an infant carrier where they might not have done before. Because if you go to the supermarket, it does mean that baby's in their own environment. It's very hard to push a trolley and a pushchair. Yeah, but then at the same that. time, I think it's the opposite. It's also had the opposite effect because people aren't having an infant carrier because they're not taking it in out there in places because they're just going home and to wherever they're going. So they well, that's true. Need, I know a few people I've spoken to have said, well, I don't need an infant carrier, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, but if you are going to go to the supermarket, it's probably best to have your little one yes. in the infant carrier as opposed, as opposed to. to putting it in the hammock seats yeah. that are in yeah. some of the trolleys. So it's kind of working yeah. out what's going to work well for or you. Or a baby carrier. A baby that's carrier. That's what I use, used yeah. to use wrap, in, with a wrap, wrap already on in the car, pop them straight in there, could do my shopping in peace. Yeah, and, and they're asleep, they aren't they? Yeah. yeah, always, always, always asleep. It's just a little bit when you're trying to get So somebody around. spotted our new, our little assistant here. Soph Newton said, what's your little assistant's name today? She sat on the floor, nice and quiet. So this is our little assistant. It's actually the same one. She's just got different clothes on yeah. today. She's had a change today. So yeah, she's had a change today. Now, many years ago when my little girl was um, this size, <laughs> <laughs> when we used to go to the baby shows, she used to come as my mummy, which was our other publication, and pushed her expert team at Mascot. So this is basically the dress that Florence used to wear. And yeah. I was sorting out a load of clothes. And I was like, oh, we'll have that for life. We'll yeah. have a change. Yeah. We'll have a change. We all had pink matching T-shirts. We I did. Was just talking we, about in the office. We did all have pink matching T-shirts. And then Florence had her pink matching dress, yeah. but with a bit of prettiness on it, because I liked our pretty it's dresses. Forward. So, yeah, but very well behaved. Very well behaved. So that's the eye snug. Now, Joy are very well known for their car seats, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Um, they are one of the brands that go um, above and beyond with their testing. So if, um, if you're unsure about car seats, kind of stick to your main brands um, because you know they will have gone a little bit further with their testing. And Joy, other infant carriers they do, they do the eye gem, don't they? they do. Again, Which an is, there's a bit more seat. to the eye gem, so it's a little bit heavier, but it's um, got your headrest stays in it all the time and you can squeeze the back and move up and down with the eye gem so there's a bit more to that a little bit heavier but bit we've, heavier. we've yeah, tried to that. choose seats with a little bit of a point of difference today yeah. and your eye snug is incredibly light yeah. isn't it so, so for somebody wanting that that is a good option it's always going to be heavy once you get baby in but if yeah. you have got a bad back mm -hmm. bad shoulders you know uh, maybe have a cesarean section your eye snug may be the answer for you yeah. What should we look at next? What do you fancy? Should we go behind? Shall we? Where? That way or that way? Should we go coral? Because coral is yeah. very, very different. And as I say, we've chosen things that are different. We could swap. swap. So coral is from Maxi Cozy and it's one of their new seats. And she's very clever, isn't she? She is. So she's another eye size tested seat. Um, and this is, you can see it's built a little bit differently to their other seats. Um, the handle isn't like part of it here. It's just on the top here. So you just press your button to move that back. Independent hood, which we love. And a lot of Maxi Cozy seats don't have that. So it's nice that they've gone with the independent hood. I do like the independent hood oh, as opposed to being attached to your handle yeah. or have a flippy floppy hood. Yeah. Kirsty was here, she'd be talking about flabby <laughs> fabrics. She's very, the coral is very quite futuristic looking, it is, isn't it? Yeah. And they it's do a bit it like in a neon, don't they? Which is quite bright. Yeah, yeah and a um, green. But I do think it's pretty. Now, 
Car seat's not about being pretty, though, is no. it? Definitely not, not about being pretty. It's about safety. safety. But it has got a nice, I do like the sweeping curves on mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Um, rocking base there. Obviously, you're not going to leave baby in there for longer than half an hour anyway um, when they are newborn. We've got our newborn doll in at the moment, all nicely strapped with your three point harness. Newborn insert, which comes out at 60 centimetres, which is your average four to five month old, uh, three to four month old. Um, and then the difference with it is you've got two handles here. And then if you press this, you can lift out baby out. And out she comes. Do not swing your baby. Leave your, do a poor baby. You'll be feeling travel sick, not being in the car. But it is very ergonomic to carry, isn't it? It's mm. very, very yeah, easy to carry. Yeah, the shape of carry. it. So a lot of the marketing material um, for the Maxi Cozy Coral is parents leaving hospital like this um, or sat in, uh, if they've got in a wheelchair, been wheeled around, sat on their knee. Or you can also carry like this with your handles. Um, it obviously makes it a lot lighter. It's just over, it's nearly three, it's just under three kilos, yeah. isn't it? 2.9 like this. this. Yeah. Um, you leave your shell then in the car or wherever you, you are. Um, yeah. So you can leave that bit and just take the insert out. Now that really does come to its own. Parents, if they've got twins, <coughs> mm -hmm. carrying two heavy infant carriers, that's going to be a lot easier to carry. It also obviously sits on the floor when you get yeah. home, but you've still got to take little one out. Don't leave them in that no, for a long time. No, but if you've just got while well, you're just getting your bags in or you're shopping quickly unpacked, you've got that flexibility. Baby can sit there where you know they're safe and then you can get them straight out. If you're sure, if, you, if you're in flats as well, you've got to carry up lots of stairs. You've got the Again, whole big shell to take in with you and leave that in the car. It's not as bulky, is it? No. It really, really isn't as bulky. Obviously, this bit can't be used in the car and you can't use this bit on your chassis. That part is all built into your shell but just to, to take in the house um, is, is kind of a brilliant idea. So this is the maxi cosy coral that we are looking at and then it just clips in as easy as that and then this turns back to green to let you know it's clipped in right. Um, Sally Pryor says she's never seen one like this, it's <coughs> brilliant. No, they are the only ones really who do this, don't yeah, they? Yeah, it's very innovative. Liz Charlton has joined us, she says so much lighter, as a disabled nan this is great, yep, yeah. anybody who's in a wheelchair or just going to know they're going to struggle is yeah. going to give them something that is, it's not just the weight, it's so much less bulky, isn't it? Yeah, because they're imagine, a bit awkward to carry as well, aren't they? They are. Can you imagine if you've got twins going up and down lots of steps? Yeah. Or if you've got steps to your drive, or it's just going to make life a lot easier. Yeah. You do need to obviously make sure any of these are tip tested on the um, push chest. Chassis, if you push chair, literally, I can't get my words out. If you're going to use them on the chassis, if you push chair, if you're not sure, get in touch and we can check for you as well. Zara Cave says, Can you please show the Bugaboo Turtle, Maxi Cozy Pebble Plus, and Cloud Z, please? I'm really unsure what to use with my Bugaboo Donkey 2 twin. Well, today, Zara, out of those, we have got the others in store, but today we've got the Cloud Z out because we're going to have a look at how the Cloud Z works because we're looking at those with a little bit point of difference. So Zara, it might be worth booking a video consultation. We can then get those three out for you, put side them by side by side, side yeah. and look at them. And any questions you've got, if you want us to show you on the chassis of um, the donkey, we can do that. So I've, if you get that booked in, one of the girls will be able to help you with seven that Seven days one. a week they're available. They are indeed available seven days a week, even on a Sunday. Not 24-7 though. No, not overnight. No, <laughs> no, just normal day. Victoria Jack says, can the coral attach to a pram? Yes. Yes, it can. I, as I've just said, you just need to make sure it's being all, tested. I think all of the ones we've got out here, apart from, mm, I'm not sure about Baby Jogger. Baby I'm Jogger sure isn't about. tested on any other push chairs, though. No, just Baby Joggers, yeah. Um, but use universal adapters, so as long as it's being tested, you can um, it's, use the same adapters that you'd get with your push chair that you buy separately to then pop it on. Um, if you're using this on a Maxi Cozy um, push chair, these turn into memory buttons, which you can press and then take away. Zara says, thank you, that's great. George has been helpful, has been helping so far, but it'd be great to see oh, them. Yeah. Zara, yeah. get yourself booked in for an appointment. Georgia is available today, so um, I know she's about today, so if you want to see Georgia, I'm sure she would love to see you as well. Our prize today, we've got two winners. Um, each winner is going to win a back seat car protector and a mirror from Safety First. Now, Safety First do their sister company to Maxi Cozy. Um, they do lots of safety products, both for your car, but also they do things like baby bed rails, gates. baby gates, uh, bath supports. Like the bits that you put on your cupboards and your stuff. Cupboard door. Yeah, like 
on the corners. Can't get in and out and, yeah, yeah, so yeah. they do loads and loads and loads baby of those. Baby-proofing your house. Cut. Yeah, baby-proofing your house, absolutely. All you need to do to enter our competition today, we're going to have two winners, is to comment, join in with the chat. If you've hit share like Hannah Hill has this morning, that is awesome news. Thank you very much. So we've had a look at the Joy Ice Nug because it's very it's light. light. So yep. that's why we chose that one today. We're having a look at the moment at the Maxi Cozy Coral, which again is an ice IC. I'll just do that. And again. it has a very clever uh, function that you can take the liner out like so. And it is comfortable, isn't it? So to carry. For them or for me? For you. I'm just waiting for you to spin baby round. So if you want to carry it, you can. If you want to carry it by the handles, you've not got your big, bulky shell. So for lots of people, that's going to work really, really well. Corrie Carrington has joined us this morning. She says, love the style of the car seat. It's amazing and I love the thing that it does. It is a very stylish seat. We mm. always say that yes. it, safety is the most important thing with your, fun with your car seat. Safety and functionality. But it is a nice style. It's, it's a beautiful shape, isn't it? It is, yeah. Like I said, very futuristic. Very futuristic. Maybe they've set the pathway and we're going to see lots more manufacturers having that insert that's going to come out. Send it up onto the rocket. Absolutely. Phew. Right, what do you fancy looking at next? Let's move this one down. Shall we have a look at... Shall we have a look at... Cloud Z? Cloud Z? We'll swap. Okay. So, Cybex, <coughs> again, big, big, big car seat brand. Um, Cloud Z's featured on quite a lot of our lives for a lot of reasons. It's very popular. Very, very popular. It does fit on quite a lot of the pushchair chassis. Um, again, we just need to check it's been tip tested. She's a little bit bigger because she's quite clever and she's going to last a long time, isn't she? Yeah, so it's one of the longest lasting infant carriers. It lasts up to 87 centimetres, which could take you as far as 18 months, depending on the size of your child. Um, it does very well in the safety testing. So ADAC, the independent German testing um, facility, tested it and uh, gave it a very low score of 1.6 without the base and 1.7 with the base. The no, lower the better. That seems the wrong way around, doesn't it? The ADAC score was a very low score. But yeah, actually the but lower the score yeah. is the lower the score, yeah. the better. So five star rating um, for its safety. So not only does it look nice and function very well, it also um, does very well in the testing. Another eye size seat, so it goes from birth up to, like I said, 87 centimetres. That's big, which, isn't it? Yeah, so if we've compared it to the two others that we've looked at so far is 75 centimetres, that's 12 centimetre difference. It's quite a lot. That is a the, lot. The it takes a growth. long time for a child to grow, 12 centimetres. Mm. Talking of children growing, lots of people will come to us and say they think a child's outgrowing their infant carrier yeah. way before they actually have. Yeah. So you want to max out any car seat that you have. Um, one, because it's just a waste of money, if not, if you're moving them before you need to. You've not got the full potential out of your car seat, <clears throat> but also it's safe for them to stay in there, so you might as well. Um, so max it out. So as long as they've not reached the height, maximum height or the maximum weight on your car seat, that the head in an infant carrier, <clears throat> you can get a book and put it on the top of um, the seat here. And as long or as an iPad. Or an iPad. Gently on the top or of the head's going up. Or a ruler up. or any flat. A baguette. It's not flat, is it? Well, it is yeah. kind of flat on the bottom, <laughs> where it's been on the other. If you want to put a baguette on baby's head, do put that. a baguette on baby's head. As long as it doesn't touch um, that flat thing at the top, then they haven't outgrown it. Um, as long as you're keeping their harness in the correct level as well, some babies are going to have longer bodies, short legs, so they are going to uh, have the harness in a higher position, so level or just below their shoulders when they're rear facing an infant carrier. Corrie is loving the colour. This is autumn gold that it's we've got It's very Marmite. Today. Some people... They either love it or hate it, yeah, don't they? You get the, this one out because this is kind of their hero colour. It's in all the imagery and we have obviously got one out on display. We've and also we do got get one in black. Fed, we do get fed up with black and grey, don't do. we? Yeah. So. Um, but people are always like, they're either like, oh my God, that colour is amazing. Or they say, um, do you have to have that colour? Yeah, no, that's no, you don't. It comes in often, lots of different often the question. So this is we're looking at at the moment is the Cybex Cloud Z. There we go. It's party piece. I just had to spin it around for Jose to see it. So for, yeah, it just spins for the cameraman. Yeah. Or so, you as a parent. <laughs> so like the other two, you I don't know if we actually mentioned on the other two. You can use the other two as well with um, bases, isofix bases, or you can belt them in with a vehicle seat belt. Same with the Cloud Z. You can belt that in. Lap, um, lap belt over the lap of baby, diagonal around the back. 
um, and then make sure it's really tight to do it with that or you can use the artifact base which makes it easier I'm just going to push that down because this rig is on wheels it doesn't always let the leg drop down low enough we've so got a new Bretax rig on its way Good. In transit, how exciting is that? It is exciting. I'm excited for we that. We do like we do like our rigs. We yeah. we use them an awful lot, don't we? Yeah. So, so sorry, Kelly's just run through how to attach your car seat with a seat belt. If you are not sure, once you <coughs> put baby in the car, you can always send us some photographs and video of any car seat fitting. Even if you haven't bought it from us, we will always double check it for you. Yeah. And if we're not sure, we will arrange a WhatsApp video call or something just to go through to make well, it's, sure we're it's happy. It's like we had one over the weekend as well where a lady wasn't sure if her car seat was safe in her new car, even though it was another one. So what we went, we thought it looked okay, but to double check, we sent all the images over to Nuna because it was a Nuna car seat and they confirmed that it was okay. So we can always do that. If we're not sure, we can double check it as well. It's very, very important that we make sure that you have the correct car seat for, the, for your child um, and also the correct car seat for your car. Yeah. So there's two things that we really need to take consideration of. And a lot of parents say, well, I didn't, I didn't know, I don't know, I don't know. Why would you know? You've never bought a car seat before. No, Why no. would you know? We do this day in, day out. Yeah. And, and we still, love still like I said, we still need to double check sometimes. Yeah. Um, we don't, it's, it was a brand new car, so we weren't sure. Um, but yeah, some have more bucket seats, um, some brand new cars that you have compatibility lists, so you can check it against your car. Um, but if it's a new car, it might not have been tested. But if it physically fits, then it should be okay. And you can't, they can't check every single car that's no. on the road with no. every single uh, carrier, infant carrier, no. can they? Or high back booster no. or what have you. No. So the um, Cybex Cloud Z is very popular, not only because of the safety testing, but it's got a couple of features that make it really good um, and really functional for the parent um, to use and baby to be comfortable in. So the first, like you've seen there, the base said it allows it to swivel, so it comes to the side door, uh, side of your car to the door, so you can get baby in and out easier. So as they get a little bit bigger, and you're not taking the infant carrier out of the car as much, you've got really good access to get them in and out and tighten the harness sufficiently as well. It's easier to tighten it, isn't it? Pulling it Pull towards, it towards you than it is yeah. when you're doing it on the skew. Yeah. Samantha Pavey loves the spin. Um, Liz Charlton says spin is great for three door cars. Yes, yeah. it is. So you, it makes life a lot it, easier. So you might think that you could swivel it forwards, but it's not a 360 degree rotation when you've got the Cloud Z on. It's only 180 because it won't allow you to forward face. So it's obviously still good if you're doing it to the middle, but if you're thinking to spin it forwards, it wouldn't do that because it's very clever. The base said, know that it's the Cloud Z that's on there and it shouldn't forward face, so it doesn't let it. So all your infant carriers will rear face and all face backwards. Now, we've, I'm sure somebody has noticed the little ear sticking out the side of there. Yep. You've flapped out there, Kelly. What's that all that's about? That's your LSP system, so it's your side impact protection. Um, this can reduce the energy in a side impact collision up to 25%, so really important. Passes the energy around the back of the seat rather than directly into the side of the seat and into the child. That floppy bit of plastic's it's very, not very... floppy. Well, it's... it's but you expect Ooh. it to be... Yeah, you don't. It's a big difference. Yeah, Max. a massive, massive difference. So to yeah. pass that energy round the back of your seat instead of across your child is really, really yeah. important. So just make sure you pop it out on the car door side. It doesn't have to be on the other side. No, it'd annoy the person who was sat on the other side, potentially. Yeah. If you've not got a child sat on the other side, it doesn't matter. No, if you'd adult. rather leave both out, just to make sure, then that's fine. And your Cloud Z will fit on a lot of pushchair chassis, as we've said. You just need to double check. Easy to remove. And off she goes on her walk. So, um, as we've said, newborn babies don't want to be left in their car seats. It's a really important message to get out there um, for longer than half an hour at a time for the first six weeks or so um, because the head is very heavy, neck muscles aren't very strong and they kind of slouch like this in the seat because they're in a bit more of an upright position. Um, and it's proven that their oxygen levels drop after that time. So some hospitals now, before you leave hospital, will actually check their oxygen levels while they're in the car seat to make sure it's not too low. Now, there is a... A lot of people say you have to have an infant carrier in order to leave hospital and they won't let you leave hospital without yeah. an infant carrier. And that's not true. No. You need to make sure that in your car you have a car seat that is suitable for a newborn baby. Yep. Obviously, if you've got one of the multi-stage seats, so let's, be, let's say, I don't know, one of the big joy ice spins, you're not going to take that up onto the hospital ward, maternity ward with you. But we always recommend, take a photograph of, of it on your phone. Yeah, fit it in the car. Because you've got it with it, you know, it's all in the car. Take your instruction booklet 
upstairs, you know, or not necessarily upstairs, depending where your maternity <laughs> unit is. They're all upstairs. All upstairs. So you've got a good view across the field. Um, but we always recommend that you do that. I think more and more maternity wards now understand that there are car seats from birth that you don't take out of your yeah. car, whereas historically it always used to be. The yeah. only option was an infant carrier. Yeah. So there's two reasons why they want to check. Obviously, one, to make sure you're getting baby home in a safe way in the car, but two, also that you're not carrying baby um anywhere just carrying them to the car so just take your push chair upstairs with you and bring baby down um, to get in the car so claire farley has said what age will the cloud z work for it's 87 centimeters up to so from birth up to approximately 15 to 18 months depending on size of baby one of the longest lasting infant carriers it is big isn't it yeah it is big yeah. although if your child is 18 months you are likely to leave it in your car by that yeah that's time, yeah you? you're not going to be carrying it around so you can see that with the headrest extended You've got, if your shoulders are here, the newborn insert obviously would be taken out, but you've got quite a big space there for an older child to be in the seat. We've had, um, Lucy Ann says, do we sell foot muffs for the Cloud Z? Yes, yes. we do, we do indeed. Um, Zara Cave said, is, is it heavy? It's heavier than some, but yeah, you've got because a of the mechanism seat, in it, you? and yeah, because it is heavy. I think it's five. Oh, look at you with the factoids. Five something kilos. Zara, we can make sure we've got all the weights for you yeah. if you're going to do a what. So it is a bit heavier, help. but you're not... I never carry... I mean, I'm not a small, little, weak person. I'm quite a strong person. I can carry a 15 kilo bag of dog food quite easily, but... Um, Always get back to this new puppy you've got. Oh, I've got my new puppy, everybody. I yeah. picked her up last week. Yes, very excited about the new puppy. She's very naughty. I'm, I would say she can come and like make an appearance, but you've told me too many times that she's too naughty, so I she's don't quite think naughty. so. Peas and poos. Oh, and then yeah, but yeah, because hand. you didn't have poopy babies. We had a conversation yeah, about this, didn't we, on yeah. our live? If you join us regularly for our lives, you'll know that Kelly was very, very happy with the fact she didn't have poopy well, babies. It wasn't a poopy, poopy baby. Poopy. poopy baby in the night. Okay, poopy, poopy baby poopy in the night. Poopy doesn't poop in the night. Okay, it's just in the day. Anyway, we digress. Um, there. We've got a few questions about weight Michael limits, no, height okay. limits yep. are on car seats. So this one we've said 87 centimetres. Do they, any of them have a weight limit as yeah, well? Yeah, still, you there? still have your maximum weight, so it's still 13 kilo maximum weight, but it's 87 centimetres on your height. They all will have a maximum weight as well. So Annabelle Pepper says, can you use Cybex with a bugaboo fox? Yes, yes you can indeed. Debbie York says, is it easy to adjust the straps? Yeah. So just loosen. You've got a little uh, loop on the back. And if you haven't got, we've still got the newborn insert, but then your yeah. straps will go up with the back of yeah. there. You'd take this all out. Um, it they just all want to see out. pictures of your puppy. Ah, Claire Farley obviously joins us because she knew you got a great Dane. Yes. She's humongous. Humongous. Yeah, she's she's bigger than our ter she's about as big as our ter our thirteen year old terrier and she's eight weeks old. You're gonna need to move house. You need a bigger she house. She doesn't like to sleep in a crate, so she's been sleeping in my bed. <laughs> Naughty lady. Naughty Can you lady. When she's full size. Yes. No. Won't be any room for me. No. Alina Zabertsky said, "Do it have adapters for most prams?" There are a lot. They don't come with the car seat. They come with your push chair or as a separate. A, there are a lot of push chairs that Cybex will fit on. Not all, so you just need to check it's tip tested. So you yeah. can always send us a message, and we will be able to tell you whether it's been tested. It does fit on the universal that as well. But it is pretty universal, isn't yeah. it? So one of the other things that we're talking about using on your push chair, um, thirty minute time frame, but the Cloud Z reclines. We love it. That's yeah. such a good feature, yeah. isn't it? So you get to your destination, take baby either inside. Not in the car, just when it's out. But once you put it on the chassis of your push care, you can then recline it. Yeah, so it's, it's an almost lay flat position there. Your bottom also pops out as well, so it's a really ergonomic position, lay flat for um, a newborn baby. And then if you're out and about, it increases it to a two hour um time frame as opposed to 30 minutes so if you are doing visage using it more out and about then it's a good one to go for because of your that. cloud z is 4.8 kilograms oh thank you fiona put that in thank you fiona thank you fiona thank you fiona um so claire elizabeth the weight of the seat when empty is 4.8 kilograms so they're loving the recline feature yeah. it is quite before we pop that back on i can say can you just leave it off a minute oh yeah well, the nice thing about this base as well is you can put your next stage seat yeah. on it. So you can put your Serona Z on it, 
which is going to give you a spinning seat all the way to the age of round about four years yeah. old. Yeah, 105 centimetres is your um, Serona Z. You can see a little picture there of your Cloud Z going on and your Serona Z. You can rear face um, the entire time with your Serona Z on. If you really want to, you can forward face after a minimum of 15 months. Now, we would definitely encourage people to keep their children rear facing for yep. as long as possible. Be there's, it's just the safest position for them to be. Just. So one of the nice things about that base, and there are a number of bases that you can use your, what well, we class, a lot of people <coughs> refer to as a toddler seat. Yeah, both these, you can use toddler seats on the, on the bases. But that one spins. And a spinning toddler seat, lots of people will not take the next stage seat when they come in store. They'll go straight for a seat that a spins, seat, won't they? Yeah, that spins so in. we like that, that, quite a nice feature for that. Yes. So Lucianne says that was the bonus for them, the recline and the swivel base. Yeah. So it is a very, very clever seat, Just but it's part. also a very, very safe seat. You know, mm. And that's fundamentally what we need to think about with car yeah. seats. What do you fancy looking at next? Should we go along now? Should we go Tinker? Tinker. Tinker, so I love is... the name Tinker. I think... Just, but it reminds me of Tinga Tales on CBS. Tinga, Tinga, Tinga Tales. Yeah, no, we won't sing to you, really. It's Monday morning. We don't want to put them <laughs> off for the week. So this is the Maxi Cozy Tinker. Um, it's their entry-level um, eye-sized infant carrier. It's kind of taken over from the Cabrio Fix, which probably a lot of people have heard of, um, which is an R44 old regulation seat. But this one is a very, very light option to it, go for. It is a light yeah. option. And... Price-wise, more or less the same as your Cabrio fix. Yeah. Well, RRP is exactly the same, but it's a nice size seat. Yeah. And we've got the hood. Just one question I've just seen. Sorry, Daniel asked, yeah. does the Cybex fit on the Oyster 3 frame? Yes. It does fit, and it is also safety tested on it as well. So meanwhile, back to our Maxi Cozy Tinker. Yeah, so really light. You, it's, it's more of a basic seat because of the pricing, but you've got your lovely newborn inset in there with your wedge, um, three-point harness, independent hood which they've changed from that's one difference from the cabrio fix doesn't hook on anymore it moves out the way on its own and this can be used from birth up to 75 centimeters either belt fitted on the back or with um, a nice fixed base it has its own base it's a little bit cheaper because it doesn't take the next stage seat or you can choose one of their other bases which can take a next stage seat and it's nice again we spoke at the beginning of the live um so if you weren't there at the beginning of the live, but we talked about the fact that your eye size seats are now coming down in price. There's yeah. not such a big jump between your older reg seats and your newer eye size seats. So right. when they launched that, that was great news, wasn't it? Because we'd had the Pebble, a uh, Pebble Pro, yep. but there was quite a big jump, wasn't there, between your Cabrio Fix and the Pebble yep. Pro. So it's nice to see that making eye size and making that safety more affordable. And Maxi Cozy is a car seat brand. You know, they do car That's seats day in, day out. Yeah. That is their specialism. Those people who have just joined us today, thank you very much for joining us. We have two winners today. If you don't normally join us on a live, we go live every day, round about 11 o'clock. We talk about basically whatever you want to talk about. So today we are doing infant carriers, but we're looking at some infant carriers with a little bit of a point of difference, okay? There are so many infant carriers on the market, but we've pulled out just a few from in our store. Every day we also give away a prize. <coughs> Today we've got two winners. Um, we have got, uh, they will win a back seat car mirror and a back seat protector. So they get one of each there. You do not win the baby in the middle and you do not <laughs> win need Kelly's her. boots, although they do look very snug and very warm. They are, they're perfect for So we will weather. draw our winner at the end, so make sure that you uh, stay tuned. We give away all kinds of things, don't we? Friday, that was my favourite so far, I think. Uh, yeah, but you didn't win, did you? No. I Friday, Friday, we decided to try something a little bit different, and we <coughs> gave away a Just Eat voucher. So we gave away a takeaway voucher. So let us know if there's anything in particular, however random it is, that you would like to win. But we've given away travel systems, we've given away strollers, we've given car away seats. car seats, we've given away baby carriers, we've given away Moses baskets. Bedside cribs. Bedside cribs, bouncers and rockers and... High chairs. High chairs, toys, bedding, all kinds of things. And make Seat sure liners. you join us every day. If you weren't every and day, you'd be sorted, wouldn't you? Mm, yeah. So, and it's a random draw and we always draw them live as well. So, what do you fancy looking at next? Do you want to do BC? Oh, my hand is on it. 
So we talked earlier <coughs> about brands doing car seats that um, match. Yes. And there was a collaboration between Jules and Bisse. Yes, which they have actually now switched to Max Cozy. They have now switched but to Max Cozy. But it's just Cozy. showing you that you can get ones that are branded with your um, car seat, it, with your pushchair, if that is really something that you want. So same fabrics, and this has got the Jules branding on it, even though it's a Be Safe seat. Exactly the same, though. So it's still the Easy Go Modular X1, but... It's branded with the pushchair. And info sometimes as well. a brand will do a car a pushchair brand will do their own seat and sometimes they will work with one of the bigger car seat brand yeah. uh, companies. So like they? somebody asked earlier about the Bugaboo Turtle Air, that is actually a Nuna seat. So they've collaborated with Nuna to create their own seat, but it is um, a Nuna Pippa Yeah, and Jules used to collaborate um, with Be Safe and very, very recently have moved over and they're collaborating with Maxi Cozy. So different ways of buying your car seats um, with your uh, pushchair. Yeah. Um, so this has an independent hood and it's this kind of shell. It's quite a similar to, uh, design with your solid rim and then your um, kind of, reminds me of like a prawn or something. <laughs> a prawn? <laughs> yeah. With this kind of rim. It's not exactly hood. I, I know, I know. It's just I've always, I've always thought like a prawn. Okay. I think more These armadillo. are the prawn car seats. Lovely new board insert in there. You've got magnets built into your harness, which attaches up here and then keeps your harness out of the way. And this is a little bit different because it's a five-point harness as opposed to a three-point harness, which we've seen on quite a few of the others today. Loretta McDonald is asking, what age do infant carriers go up to? Depends. Um, about 12 months. Um, some of the ones we've looked at are 75 centimetres. This is 75 centimetres. You've got 87 centimetres on your Cloud Z. Um, marble is that 75 centimeters i think so but i'm going to double check because i don't check. want to get it wrong 85 centimeters <clears throat> 85 marble. yeah so um they've increased it on the new marble um the baby. baby jogger is see it on the side it's so tiny the writing you need to get your eyes oh that one's uh 87 centimeters 87 as well centimeters yeah so that one's well. um a much longer lasting one as well so yeah um maximum 13 kilos generally 12 13 kilos on them all as well but they do uh, some last longer than others so between 12 and 18 months depending on the baby some people might get two years out of their infant carrier yeah we do got that teat one it depends all depends on the size of your uh, yeah. child somebody's asked about payment plans i can't find the message at the moment so if it was you i'm talking to you and anybody else who would like to listen we do the way that our payment plans work is we do it almost like gift well we do it as gift vouchers we just found that people if you were saving up because obviously you find out you're pregnant and you've got usually got sort of eight months to go so a lot of people may start quite at the beginning of their pregnancy but Save we, up. Yeah, we found that vouchers worked really, really well because if another push chair is launched and you change your mind or... A new colour. New colours or you change your car or you move house or anything in that period, the push chair that you chose right at the beginning may not be the best push chair or car seat or baby carry or what have you for you so we work it like that so you just save up in that flexibility, way. flexibility. Yeah, you? we also do Klarna and Clearpay. Um, What's the new one? Lay? Lay by? Oh, no, lay by? <laughs> lay away. I think it's called lay away. Lay away. Not lay by. No, Definitely not, not lay by. Lay by. I, can't it, I like it. Sweet. I like it. Sweet, like, yeah, so we so have, there's lots of options on the website. We have got some finance options um, that are interest free to allow you to spread the payment, whether you just want to spread it over three months or if you want to spread it over a couple of years. So there are lots of different ways of doing your purchases. Obviously, if you're doing gift vouchers and saving up, it's a little bit like the more old-fashioned payment plan. Yeah. You get your product once you've saved up enough gift vouchers. If you're doing one of the credit options, you get your product straight away. So and then we don't deal with any of the payment. That's all dealt with the finance company. So it depends, you know, what's going to work the best for you. Abigail Laura Ronaldson, good morning. Abigail has asked, what do we recommend for a budget but still a safe infant carrier? We would always say budget allows go for an ice size seat. We've looked at the Joy Ice Snug this morning and the RRP for that is £90. So you can get a very decent seat for less than £100 yeah. as well. And your, or your Maxi Cozy Tinker as well. Yeah, very Maxi nice Cozy Tinker. Should we swap? It's all right, I'm going back over there. I just want to get this oh, okay. and put it on. With, um, Liz Charlton loves the magnet. Sophie Newton said, what would you say is the correct way to hold a car seat? I'd say just give it to your partner. Oh, <laughs> oh. I know, I know, I know. 
So we'll show you that in just a moment. There's a few different ways. Obviously, if you've got something like the coal, it's very easy because you can take the insert out, which I'll just show you while Kelly sets this up. So on our coral, you have got a little button and you can take it out like so. So for something like this, it's very easy to carry at your side, but it's also easy to almost give it a hug as well. Obviously, your full-size car seats, that's going to be a little bit more difficult. But your car seats are going to be heavy once little one arrives. What shall I borrow? Shall I borrow the eye snug? So eye snug, lots of people walk along carrying it like this. And you've got a bent back, you've got bent shoulders. Kelly's just wrecking the joint. But you'll notice that they have a curve on them. One of the best ways we found to do it is to pop that on your hip like so. Your it arm goes through the other way, doesn't it? Round. You can do it either way. Some people find it more easier. Like to hold it like that, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, it's different. That. You would be like that, wouldn't you, if you were just holding it? Yeah. But you that, kind of... That's not going to be very comfortable. But if you pop it up, use your hip to help <clears> support. You can hold it that way. Or you can hold it that way, depending on what you like. So that's going to make sure your shoulders are nice and straight, your back is nice and straight, and a it takes some of the yeah. weight onto your hips as opposed to onto your arms and across your shoulders. Right, Kelly, what are we having a look at next? So I just put the base um, on the rig just so we can show. I might actually just wheel the rig in the sway a bit. I'm just trying to not break the leg as I move it. Your car would not move <laughs> Don't like break this. a leg. Don't break a leg. Not my leg. The so while you do that, that Sophie Hines has said, do we do leg. gift options? Her sister is pregnant, but um, she'd like to gift her some things. Yes, we do, Sophie. You've either got your um, gift vouchers, which will allow them to choose what they want, or if you want us to put a bundle together for a certain amount, we can do that, um, whichever is going to be easiest for you. So what have we got here? We've got another new, new car seat. Car seat. So this is the Maxi Cozy Marble. Um, huge hood, so if you are using it out and about, it's a really big hood and you've got a ventilation panel so it lets extra air flow through to baby. Um, inside you've got a beautiful and thick newborn insert and also this head part stays in and just moves up and down to be at the right size for I baby. I like the marble. I do. I, I like this texture on it as well. Marble, that was one of our lists art for the dog, to call the dog, the puppy. What, Marble. after a car seat? Not after the car seat, Has the no. puppy finally got a name? She has got a name. Is she called Thumbelina? No. Oh. She's called Inca. Inca? Mm. Yes. After? Because she looks like she's got ink splodges she on does. her. She does, yes. She's a male, she does. so she's got ink splodges. So, Inky wasn't really great, so she's Inca. 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 Okay, now we know everybody. Now you know. So meanwhile, we're looking Sorry, at the back Maxi to the car Cozy seat. Marble Infant Carrier. Yes, not dog. Not dog. Not um, dog. Newborn inserts, that comes out again at the 60 centimetre um, mark. Lovely and padded in there for the newborn baby. One of the best things about it is that the backrest reclines, and I think it's 157 degree angle, that that then allows baby to pop their head back and be laid in a more of a natural laid flat position for them and you can do this in or out of the car so like the clown said we looked at has that amazing recline but that's an out of the car recline yes. as opposed to an in car yeah. recline this is in the car it will also recline it's quite similar to the joy eye level which also did the same or does the same as well joanna and uh, laura are asking about newborn inserts how long do we need to keep those in for most of them are 60 centimeters so whenever your child reaches that average three to four month old child um and when they don't physically fit if they look like they're sat on top of the seat rather than in it and protected um their bum is too big for that insert then take it out so again if you're not sure send us some photographs as well because people are not having their children measured or weighed as no. much at the moment are no. they so it is this kind of like, oh, help, I don't know what to do, I don't yeah. want to do. If your child gets to 61 centimetres and they're still in that insert, but it still fits, you know, it depends where that height is of the child. You know, yeah. they might have a, an elongated head or very long legs. I don't know why I said an elongated Cone head. head. <laughs> yeah. Or long legs. So it depends, you know, that extra one centimetre might be more in their legs than in their torso. Yeah. So again, if you're not sure, just check with us. So this We're baby is perfect because it's a smaller newborn baby. It's perfect in there. It offers that side um, protection. Um, for a newborn baby but once it starts filling out and it's just too squished in there then it can come out 
We've got lots of people asking about bases. You can't mix and match your seats and no. bases. So many people want to do that. I know, I know. So you couldn't, for example, the Cybex um, base said over there that we've looked at with the cloud said this morning, you couldn't suddenly put your the marble on it, marble on it no. or your be safe on no. it. They, they need to go on the correct bases and on the correct brands bases. Yeah. You do what have, is, that's what's been tested. Yeah, I mean. you do have some brands that will have a base where you can fit a number of their seats Maxi on. Cozy are good so at that. Maxi like Cozy, yeah, Maxi Cozy loved confusers and everybody else, but you need to make sure it's going on the right base. You cannot mix and match. And this leg does need to be out properly at the right level, but it's because this is on the higher. Our base is not better. Oh, yeah, I'll it's rig. being lifted up so it's um, not sitting, but you would have that pulled out completely. And there's some exciting things going on with car seats. There's going to be some really exciting launches this year, which yeah. we're quite excited about. New so, Maxi Cozy spin seats. So, yeah, all kinds of different things um, coming up. So, marble, our baby's in there. So, that baby's just over newborn age. Now, we can see the legs are already getting towards the bottom there, and it's almost touching the seat. Is that something we need to worry about? No. I knew that, but I was just asking you, just in case yeah. anybody Don't wanted to Don't worry about their legs. That's not an indicator of them outgrowing the seat at all. Um, they're perfectly fine. If they do extend out further, they will just lift them up or fold them. They'll put them up on the back of the seat. They're very flexible little things, and it will not bother them. The rest of this area is the important bit, so the harness is sat correct, that they're not up to the top of the seat. And as you can see, the shell on this is quite high. So if I just take this all out, actually, just to show you... Oh, behind his head. Once this newborn, and some of the newborn inserts are different as well. So this is all one piece um, and comes out 60 centimetres. And you've got a guide on here. But some of the inserts are have got little poppers on so you can take bits out. So like the Pebble Pro, um, you can take the headrest or the body part out separately. Then using the same toggle at the top there, you can then extend it so it's right up there so that is a much longer lasting so you're going to be able to fit because it's hard to imagine a seat that goes from newborn because there's a big difference between a newborn and a sort of 12 month old yeah, isn't there yeah definitely so that is then your car seat for a much bigger child and then at that stage you might not want to recline them so you want to have them more set up right um, it's a nice deep seat as well for them. Grace Anstey has joined us. And she says, do all more. these car seats fit into the, onto the adapters on prams? So you have to just check that A, they will fit because there's some universal adapters that will fit a lot of the brands on. But we need to make sure that once it is on, it's not going to come off. So not all of them will click into place. And we also need to make sure it's tip tested with the chassis of the pushchair. So if you've got any that you want us to double check for you, just send us a message. Your car seat Choosing your car seat is about choosing the safest seat that is the most suitable for your child and the most suitable for your car. So those are the three things. And then you can start thinking about the features that you want to set it apart to um, make your life a bit easier. Yeah, that's exactly. like the, the last thing really you want to be looking at. So, but marble's relatively new seat on the market. And it's really seat. good value for money as well. So you, you buy it because it can't, this one can't be belted in. So a lot of the others, all of the others, in fact, that we've looked at can be belted in as well. So if you're using public transport as well, or you're going and traveling in somebody else's car when you're allowed to do that. Um, this can't, you have to use it on the base. It comes in a bundle with the base. And is it 250-ish? Mm, no, off the top of my head. I'm doing a lot of guesswork you are this doing morning. Guesswork. I'm not very prepared, am I? But it's very good value for money because it comes with your base, so you've not got to get um, a separate base. Or and it's also it a with. nice narrow base, isn't it? So yeah. if you, some of the bases are more bulky. And we'll do yeah. a live another day where we look at the differences between your Isofix bases. But this is a nice narrow base if you have got to fit more than one seat on. Yeah. But sometimes if you've got to fit three seats on the back, you can get a better fit with an infant carrier that's belted in, can't you? Yeah, because you can move it right up to the car door or move it where you need so it. So a lot seat. of people ask about, is it safer to have an Isofix base or is it safer to belt your child in? No, it's not safer to um, use an Isofix base. It's just less user error. So you can belt it in and be perfectly fine. And like we've said with the Cloud Edit, it actually gets a lower score when it's belted rather than with the Isofix base. And a lower score is good on the ADAC yes. testing. I only... Uh, like a little bit, it's only marginal, isn't one, it? But, um, but it's just user error. So you think you've belted it incorrectly, you've not read the instructions right or misinterpreted them, and you've belted it incorrectly, which is it's 
a lot of people do it. A lot, it's, lots and lots of people. But fundamentally, if you seat belt your car seat in correctly, it's just as safe as using it with the yes, Isofix yeah. space. Isofix but, space, it has your green indicator to say you've connected to the Isofix points. Green to let you know you've done your leg right and green to let you know you put your car seat on. So you've got those three markers to look for and to know that you've done it right. Fundamentally, if your budgets allow, your ice fix space is actually going to make your life easier. You know, yeah, because you can let's press, face it. Press a button, lift a button, and take it off and take it in the car house with you or wherever you're onto your pushchair chassis. Whereas you've got to physically belt it in, belt it out each time rather than just pop it on the chassis, take it off the chassis, pop it on. What we're going to do is we're going to do a live one afternoon that is just about how to seat belt your infant carrier. That's a good in. idea. Yeah. So we'll do lots of we're going to do lots of short and sweet lives as well as our longer live in the morning. And today, if you've just joined us, we are looking at some infant carriers, but infant carriers with a difference. So all the ones we've got out here have got a point of difference. Whether it's one that will recline when you go onto the chassis of your pushchair or reclines in the car, whether it's one where the insert comes out like our maxi cozy coral. Whether it's incredibly lightweight, like our Joy Ice Snug here, we've also got a couple which are brought to us by the brands as well, or yeah. a collaboration with a car seat. So like with your baby jogger one there, like we said, it's longer lasting because it goes up to 87 centimetres, and the difference with that one is that the base actually um, offers you recline, so you can adjust your Do base. Swap places. I'll just set a bit of a... Um... You've just set like, a bit of a challenge for me to get over here, haven't yeah. you? So those of you while Kelly just sorts that out and pulls it sideways, see. we are giving away two prizes today, two winners today, back seat protector and a back seat car mirror. They can be sent to anywhere in the UK. At the moment, we're not able to send to Ireland, but apart from that, we're able to send anywhere in the UK. So they'll be with you tomorrow. Jamie Lee Turner loves the new Maxi Cozy. I think the marble. Got, I'm not just going marble or coal. They're both new. They are. So a lot of newness yeah. came out of. Um, Don't use that word. I'm sorry, I shouldn't use that word. Newness is not a word. N newness is not a word. Lots of new seats came out of Maxi Cozy um, over the last year, so it's quite exciting. Meanwhile, back to our baby jogger seat. Now we've chosen this one because it does have a few points of difference yeah. um, and a brand that have their own car seat here. Yeah, so it's on the base here, and as you can see, you can have it more upright for older children. Just by squeezing the base here, you can then adjust it so that it's more reclined. And this is really good if you've got car, a car that's got quite buckety seats. If it's quite angled and they're quite sat quite upright, you can then adjust that to make it that it's more reclined for a newborn baby and they're not sat completely upright. And Look at the toy that we've got there for a child to play with. Oh, yeah. They do love chewing these when they come in to try car seats or push chairs out. They're always chewing on these. Not very COVID friendly. That was before COVID. <laughs> we didn't start it, I'm sure. Nicola Cooper says she likes the car seat protectors. Um, yeah, they're really, really useful. Natalie Martin says, what's the red-orange coloured one, uh, please? Um, this Zed. was the Cloud Z, and it's here in autumn gold. Um, if you can watch back, Natalie, so you can go through all the features. But in a nutshell, it is a spin infant carrier. The base will then take your toddler seat, so it will spin all the way to the age of four, and it will recline on the chassis of your pushchair. It's also up to a height of 87 centimetres, so if you are a tall parent, you might have a tall child. So again, that's something bearing in, to bear in mind that it is a more spacious seat than a lot of the seats. I think that's everybody. I think that's everybody. I think. What's yeah. your favourite? Yeah, have you got a favourite? If money was no object, which would you choose? You know, would you choose your very lightweight one? Because yeah, would that make more of a difference. Is to that going? Is that going to help your life? Whether it's the ice snug or the maxi cozy tinker because that's a lightweight one as well. That baby's very, very precariously balanced on that seat there. I'm just going to move it. So if anybody's just joined us, they think we've got real children here, but we haven't. No. Is having an independent hood very important for you? What about reclining on the chassis of your pushchair or in the car? You know, are you envisaging long journeys? Because bear in mind that when baby's born, First four to six weeks, it's not a very long time in recommendation, is it, to be in the car seat? No. And probably you're not going to be out straight away doing um, miles walking or around the shops as soon as baby's born either. You Especially at the moment. Where are you going to go A little to? bit of time to, uh, <laughs> to recoup. 
But um, yeah, you, or you could be this one because the newborn insert comes out, so it might be easier where you park your car just to take that bit or up and down to flats rather than carry the whole shell out of the car. Lots of different options and a lot of different features that are going to suit some families um, much better. Yeah, so Zara K have said Cloud Z. She loves the recline. She's yeah. used Cybex before and really liked it. Yeah, Cybex seats are, are great. Their testing facilities are amazing. We were visited last year. Not last year, the year before now. Yeah. Alina Zabertsky says her favourite at the moment is Cloud Z. They're both tall and have had a tall baby. It's really important to bear in mind if both of you are tall, the chances of you having quite a long baby is, is actually quite high. So make sure when you're looking at infant carriers, perhaps you go for one that is going to be an extended length. Or even if you don't have to have an infant carrier, then look at a car that's going to last you a bit longer. So lots and lots of different things to think about. Yeah. Um, they're loving the colour of the red one. It's kind of a ready burnt orangey orange, colour, isn't it? Yeah. Autumn, Autumn gold, gold they she's call it. called. Yeah. Autumn gold there. So Loretta said, great show, ladies, very informative. And she gave us a clap. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for somebody, watching. Somebody said about uh, the infant carrier was very heavy when babies got bigger. Yeah, they, they are, are all they are. heavy. Yeah. You know, we cannot... It's not a natural position to carry a heavy it's weight hard, like a baby and like that. You'd have them pulled into you as part of your centre of gravity. So it... To carry them in then an extra weight seat, it's not a natural thing to carry around. Yeah, in, some so. seats of uh, some uh, any seat with a baby in is going yeah, to be. Heavy. I didn't carry mine out of the car, and you see ladies like in the doctors with them or walking around the shops, and I'm like, I don't know how you're doing. And you that. say you were strong. I That's just, what I mean. I admit to being weak. Okay, I no, I, I, I didn't <laughs> do it. I'd rather just lift my child out and put them in their pushchair. Yeah, or pop it. Yeah, pop it onto your chassis. So, do you think we should draw our winners? We've got Go two on, winners today. Um, each of our winners <coughs> will win a car seat safety mirror and a back seat protector. So we've got two winners today. Um, you don't win the baby in the middle. That's our baby Florence replacement. Baby Florence, yeah, I've replaced my child with a plastic doll. <laughs> I might try that. Yeah, it might, it might work. It might work. Um, Dee Ford said, are you going to be doing a session on carry slings? Yes, we did one. Was it last week? So, Dee, if you send us a message mm. as well, we I can, will yeah. send you the link to that so you yeah. can have a look at that one. But we will be doing more, more yeah. on baby carriers because we do love our baby carriers. So, let's draw our winners. So, those of you who have just joined us, we have a prize winner, although today we have got two winners. Um, we give away something every single weekday. So, today we've got some essential car seat accessories. Some days we might be giving away, we've given away a travel system, we've given away strollers. We've got a really cool stroller coming up actually for a giveaway. Mm. Yeah, we've given away bouncers and rockers. We've, oh, takeaways. A takeaway, which was really, really random. So let us know what you would like to win, what would make your life a lot easier. If you hit share on these lives, we really, really, really do appreciate it. If there's something you would like us to consider, and put on our lives, do shout and we will do our very yeah, we best we like to ideas, because obviously doing them every day, we don't want to just repeat the same things for you if you're watching every day. We want to bring you new stuff, so any suggestions are welcome. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to look a bit more at furniture? Because we did a furniture one last week, mm -hmm. but do you want to look a little bit more in more detail at the furniture? Yeah. Um, you know, do we need some more baby carrier ones? Do we need to start thinking, are people going to start thinking about travelling in the summer soon? So perhaps have a travel, travel focus. Strollers, yeah. I think we're doing one that's all about toddlers later this week, aren't we? So, tomorrow, is it this week? Is it tomorrow? I think it's tomorrow. That's later this week. I wasn't wrong. No, true. <laughs> so, tomorrow <laughs> is all about toddlers. So, people who get into that stage where little ones start toddling around because they're called toddlers and looking at some products that might make their life a little bit easier. So, they're loving the giveaway. Let us draw our two winners. Right. So, Kelly, you can just shout stop and we'll draw our <coughs> winner today. It's a silence. Stop. So our winner today is Hannah Eaton. Well, so Hannah. Hannah Eaton, well done. I'm just going to write congratulations. So bear with me. Yay. So congratulations, Hannah. Send us your address and your mobile number for the courier and we will get that prize out to you. Right. Get ready for winner number two. Stop. So our winner number two is Corrie Carrington. 
So Corrie Carrington, okay. you are our winner number two. So congratulations. Congratulations. Lovely. Our two winners. Well, we hope you found it helpful. You know where we are if you need any help. Please do, if you, if you do want to look at something one-to-one, -one, just book a video appointment. Whether you need... It doesn't matter what it's for. So one this hey. morning just wanted to look at one car seat to make sure it was right for her. It doesn't yeah. matter. It doesn't matter whether you need yeah. 10 minutes, whether you need um, an hour, whether you need an hour and a half. You know, we will always try and accommodate what is best for you. Um, so thank you very much for joining us, everybody. Make sure you stay safe. If you've got snow, we're a little bit jealous. Enjoy the snow. Maybe we'll have snow tomorrow. What do you think? A bit more drizzly know, rain. Was it... Grey this morning. I don't, I don't know. Didn't tell me which one. Don't know. Quite don't sunny know. On my drive. But um, if you have got snow, <coughs> enjoy your snow. Make sure little ones are uh, kept nice and warm. So, but not in uh, their snowsuits in their car seats. I was just about to say, not in their <laughs> snowsuits in <laughs> their the car seats. Use never put a child in their snowsuit in their car seat. Use blankets on top. Oh, there are some of them now do their own brand safety tested foot muffs as well. So do get in touch if that's of interest. Right, I'm rabbiting on now, so I'll say goodbye, and we will see you tomorrow round about 11 o'clock. Bye. Bye.